everybody. It's Robin Folger and Scott Studman with Suncrest Lifestyle and Windermere Real Estate. All right, all right. I got to stop you. I am really, really excited for this market update. This is one of my favorite ones that we do. This is where we look back at how 2020 did and we pull out our crystal ball and we look forward to 2023. So admittedly, I like numbers, statistics, analytics, call me nerdy but uh, really excited to share this information with you. So Robin, let's, let's talk about last year. You know, comparing the two years and looking at the stats, there were some things that really stood out to me. Um, being involved in the market, the total number of properties in Suncrest that sold this last year were 90. Yeah. 209 the previous year, and it felt like it. Yeah, yeah, and let's, let's talk a little bit about why that was. So. Mm -hmm. Um, Hidden Canyon Estates, the Edge Development, and Edelweiss, Toll Brothers, uh, Hamlet, and some of the custom homes, they're, they're pretty much built out. So we saw uh, you know, a sharp decrease um, in, in those transactions. Yeah. And then also affordability. Uh, I think unless anyone is living under a rock, interest rates, you know, they, they have changed, you know, over double from where they where they were uh, just over a year ago. So as, as affordability has, has tightened, been real tough for, for some to, uh, who, who are willing and able to get into a home, but just not able to hit that, that price point. Right, right, right. Um, the other thing that was interesting to me is the days on the market. Yeah. Um, I mean, the previous year, things were selling in a weekend, multiple offers, and this last year, the average day on the market was 36 compared to 20 in the previous year. It felt longer, yeah. I think, for a lot of sellers and required a little patience, waiting for the right buyer who had the right scenario to be able to swoop up their beautiful home. For sure, and we got so accustomed to, you know, I'm gonna leave for the weekend, come back, review offers, and some folks just had to adjust to what uh, a more normal and balanced market looks like. And this is something that I think you and I both agree, we, we are going to see the time on market increase in 2023. Um, right, it will not sure. be unusual to see homes take, you know, a couple of months uh, before receiving and accepting an offer uh, on their home. What about the average sold price? What are your, some of your thoughts there? So we saw in um, this year, the average sold price was $869,000, and that's up from $764,000 the, the previous year. So 13, just over 13% increase in prices. Yeah, what, even Did that stand out to year. you, or what did you think? You know, I, I guess being Suncrest Old Guard, um, they started in the 130s right. back in 2000. Yeah. So to have Let's an bring average those numbers. No, we don't want those back. be 870. Yeah. Y'all are sitting on some money, I'm thinking. Yeah. And that can be a really tough number to get in at. Um, let's talk about our forecast for 2023. So I, we do think that there's going to be fewer properties sold in, in 2023. Some sellers are sitting on it, waiting to see what the market uh, is going to do. Some don't want to give up that really attractive, you know, 2.75, 3% interest rate that they have, but there are options. Robin, what, what, if you're buying or selling, what can you do to participate in the market today? Sure, I mean, people are still buying homes and still being transferred, still getting married. All of those um, scenarios require more creativity, I think, in 2023. Lenders who have some creative financing. We're seeing the sellers. return of closing costs being negotiated yeah, between yeah. buyers and sellers. Right. And sellers willing to do whatever it takes to get their home selected. So. We can't wait to see what 2023 is going to bring us. Yeah, reach out. We would love to help you with your buying and selling needs here in Suncrest. 